To start our project, we're going to go ahead and import an image. This image contains a base plan of the meeting rooms. You will need the uh, meetingrooms.png file. This can be found in the uh, download section uh, below the video. First, in the navigation palette, select the Design Layers tab. Click once in the Active Layer column to the left of the Scan Design Layer to make this the uh, active layer. Now go to File, Import, and then Import Image File. Choose the uh, meetingrooms.png file and click Open. In the Import Image dialog, choose PNG under Compression Method and then click OK. We're going to use the Scale Objects command found in the Modify menu to uh, scale this image. We will use uh, the length and width information in this chart uh, below the floor plans to properly scale the image. So first, let's go ahead and zoom in on the Paris Ballroom that's located on the second floor plan. In the basic palette, go ahead and activate the rectangle tool. Make sure the uh, first mode, which is corner to corner mode, is active in the toolbar. Click once on the top left corner of the uh, Paris Ballroom, and then move your cursor to the bottom right corner of the ballroom. Click once more to complete the rectangle. You will notice in the Object Info Palette, the width and height are not correct. If you compare this to the chart below, you will see it should be 61 feet by 76 feet. Press the X key twice to deselect all the objects. Now go up to the uh, Modify menu and choose Scale Objects. In the Scale Objects dialog, choose Symmetric by Distance and then click the dimension icon to the right of current distance. Click once on the top left corner of the rectangle we just drew. Then move your cursor to the uh, top right corner and click a second time. The scale objects dialog is gonna reappear and uh, you'll see the current distance here is uh, much less than the uh, actual width of the room. So in the new distance field, enter in a 61 feet then click OK, um, and you're also going to click Yes to confirm the, the scaling operation. Now click the Fit to Objects button in the view bar. This will zoom in on the image. Activate the Selection tool in the Basic Palette, and now go over and click on the rectangle to select it. You'll notice that the uh, width now correctly shows uh, 61 feet. However, the height is still slightly off. With the rectangle selected, change the height to 76 feet in the Object Info Palette. Now we're going to go ahead and draw a rectangle for the uh, Paris foyer below the ballroom. If we check the chart, uh, you'll see that the room should be 28 feet by uh, 75 feet. So let's go ahead and activate the Rectangle tool in the Basic Palette again. Make sure the first mode, corner to corner mode, is active. Now move your cursor over and snap to the uh, bottom left corner of the rectangle uh, that we drew for the uh, Paris Ballroom uh, and click once. Move the cursor down uh, to the bottom right corner of the Paris foyer and uh, click a second time to create this rectangle. If you look in the, uh, the Object Info palette, you'll notice that the width and height again are slightly off. In the Object Info palette, make sure the top left control handle is selected and uh, set the width to 28 feet and the height to uh, 75 feet. We now have two rectangles. Uh, they represent the Paris ballroom and foyer. We are going to use uh, these as the base for our floor plan. When we created these rectangles, a scan was the active design layer. So we'll need to move these rectangles to the uh, floor plan layer. Activate the selection tool. The foyer rectangle should still be selected. If not, click on the rectangle to select it. Then you're going to want to hold down on the shift key on your keyboard and click on the ballroom rectangle. This will add that rectangle to your selection. We now will have both rectangles selected. And uh, if we go to the object info palette and click on the layer pop-up menu, uh, we can choose floor plan to move these rectangles to that layer. As you can see, the uh, rectangles disappeared, 
This is because they are now on the floor plan design layer. In the uh, navigation palette, make sure the design layers tab is still selected and click once in the active layer column to the left of the floor plan design layer. The rectangles will now reappear, but the image now shows as a large gray rectangle with an X through it. This is because the layer options are set to uh, gray snap others. Images are not visible on gray design layers. We will need to adjust the layer options to make it visible. Again, in the navigation palette, click on the uh, layer options pop-up menu and choose show snap modify others from the list. The image and rectangles will now sh both show at the same time and uh, you can interact with both the rectangle and the images even though they're on different design layers. For now, we will set the visibility of the scan design layer to invisible. In the navigation palette, click once in the uh, middle visibility column for the scan design layer. This will make the design layer invisible. Finally, click the fit to objects button in the view bar to center the drawing over the rectangles.